Okay, so uh, this is my Picade Mini, which came last week. Uh, took me a few hours to put together. It's got a Mini ITX um, board in the back, which I'll show you in a mo. And uh, I've got a solid state um, hard drive in there, and the, the ITX board has got a solid state chip on it. So um, I'm kind of cut, trying to cut down on the moving parts in there. If I rotate this round, Okay, so uh, the back, but down here you can see I've got a single cable in um, and I've got an on-off master on-off switch um, for the whole thing. Um, but if I open this up, uh, you can see um, what's going on inside. So uh, this is the Mini ITX board. Uh, I've got a solid state disc over here um, and the PSU for the Mini ITX is, is up here uh, and the PSU for the screen is just here. Uh, so generally, uh, there's you know there's plenty of room to fit it all in. So I'm just going to shut that back up and swivel that back round, and then get started. Um, I've built this uh, custom Visual Basic app, which I use as a launcher for all of the various emulators that I'm using. Um, so uh, the joystick um, uh, maps to the cursor keys of the, uh, sorry, to the arrow keys of the keyboard. Um, <clears throat> need to hide this uh, this mouse pointer, but that uh, shouldn't be too tricky. So I've got an arcade emulator which I'm using MAME for, uh, Atari ST emulator which I'm using Steam for, ZX Spectrum emulator which I'm using something called Spectaculator, uh, Dragon 32 which I can't remember what that is, Coco or something. Uh, Sega Mega Drive emulator and uh, for IBM PC games I've got um, the uh, DOSBox emulator. Uh, basically I've got an access database that holds um, a row for each of these emulators and then for the games under the emulators uh, there's sort of a row in the database that basically holds uh, the command line parameters for firing that game up. Uh, so if I show you what I mean, Arcade, uh, I've got my uh, sort of suite of games here um, and uh, uh, basically it fires off uh, MAME using the command line stuff held in the database. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit so you can uh, see the screen a bit better. Okay, so I've uh, got my uh, favourite um, arcade style games here. So uh, classics like Outrun, Afterburner, um, Road Blasters, Power Drift, Super Monaco. Um, plus some of the older stuff, um, so we've got Donkey Kong, uh, down here somewhere I've got um, uh, Pole Position and um, uh, Space Invaders as well, knocking around somewhere I think. Um, yeah there we go, Space Invaders, Pac-Man, Asteroids etc. But I'm going to kick off with a little bit of Outrun. Absolutely love the music to this game. One of my all-time favourite arcade games. As you can see, the uh, speed's not too bad, actually. Uh, I, however, am rubbish at this game, so uh, I'm going to uh, come out of that. Okay, uh, so basically I've got all my favourite ST games here. Uh, Rick Dangerous, Speedball, way better than Speedball 2. Classics like Xenon 2, Stunt Car Racer, um, IK Plus, Kickoff, one of my favourite games of all time. Uh, so for Lotus Esprit 2, um, I've got sort of um, a sub-menu which has basically got um, the different... Um, uh, levels so snow desert uh, motorway etc etc um, that's so I can sort of jump straight to levels and similarly for like Xenon 2 I can jump straight to level 2 uh, let's just have a quick go on level 1 get the uh, get the old auto fire going
got to say, this game plays really, really well on the Picade. So I dare say um, I could get an Amiga emulator going as well if I uh, fancied it, but um, not ever really being much of an Amiga fan, I uh, can't say that I've um, gone too far out of my way to sort that one. Whoops. Wait for it. Okay, cool. So uh, you get the picture on that. So um, what I'll do is zoom over to the uh, old uh, ZX Spectrum emulator. Um, and here we got some, uh, you know, more, more classic Spectrum games, uh, Manic Miner, as I say, using the Spectacular emulator. Um, sorry, I'm rubbish at talking and playing at the same time. Here comes the tricky one. Cool, anyway, so um, you get the point. Uh, and we've got some other classic games here too. I've got a bit of a ma keyboard mapping issue at the moment because Spectacular, when you're using a Kempston joystick, which I do for things like uh, Target Renegade, uh, it maps the fire button to the right control button on the keyboard. And um, out of the box, the little uh, Picade uh, Arduino chip um, doesn't have the right control key mapped. So I need to sort of uh, update that. But I've not found a way of doing it yet through Windows 7. And from what I hear, it can be a bit tricky. So uh, anyway, so um, I'm going to pop into uh, my favorite version of Chucky Egg ever, uh, which is the Dragon 32 version. Uh, this is such a cool version of the game. I had some pretty ropey games, really, the Dragon, but Chucky Egg isn't one of them. It's um, a real classic. It's the old bouncing off the walls routine. Whoops, a daisy. look at the uh, the old Mega Drive um, classic uh, Sonic stuff never really actually um, big fan of the Mega Drive but you can't deny Sonic's a all-time great Okay, so um, I've got an HL on there as well, which I was a big fan of. Um, and I'll very quickly just show you um, that uh, I've got some old greats here, like Doom, Doom 2, Alien Doom. Uh, big fan of Grand Prix, Grand Prix 2, Screamer, that kind of thing. But um, let's quickly dive into uh, Doom 2. Obviously, this this game suffers from keyboard mapping because it, it's heavy on the uh, heavy on the keyboard. Uh, Uh, so let's load up, um, let's see what this is. Oh, the old shotgun. Is there a better sound in gaming? Ooh. 
Now I'm in trouble. Got him. Okay, so uh, that's Doom. Cheating a bit with the keyboard off screen there, but um, yeah. So uh, anyway, overall, um, work all works very well, and uh, very happy with the Pi Cade. Um, so hope you enjoyed.